We are creating a LinkedIn company page with Pam. And thank you, Pam, for sharing your screen. Mm -hmm. um, below the video, there should be a link to get to this page, the creative page, creative company page. And so, uh, Pam, let's go ahead and click on company on the left-hand side. That's usually what most of us are doing here. And then, um, so here, here we are. So just to know what, what is name here? Name would be, you know how on your personal LinkedIn profile, you have that resume section where you, oh, I've worked here for this many years. I've worked there. So this is what the company name will be. It, it'll say, you know, you'll, you'll have your title on your LinkedIn personal profile saying, I'm a writer or I'm a, I'm a teacher at which company. And so this is, for most of us, if we if you actually literally have a company name that's public that you promote all the time, then it's very obvious, right? For for those of us who don't, like I don't have a company name, I, I so I literally use George Cow Authentic Business Coach because kind of that's my my tagline. But in your case, Pam, you have a company name so you. that you promote. So go ahead and and put that in. Yeah. Great. Okay. So what you'll notice here is on the right hand side of page preview, they're basically showing you. Um, you know what it's going to look like as a as a preview. Uh, the next field is company is the is your URL. So LinkedIn.com/company slash. Now wing dash hor dash writing dash studios is is, is fine. Um, probably good for SEO, but but it's going to be kind of clunky to to share it. Uh, so you might want a more elegant URL. Um, so for example, you might just want to do company slash company slash winged horse, or if you think that might be confusing with another company with a similar name. Me, then... I have two companies that are winged horse. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, so you know what? Um, here, here's the thing, like the company URL, uh, you probably shouldn't change it once you set it. If you don't know what it should be, you know, maybe we should just leave it. This is, you know, it's fine if it has dashes, you know, it's okay. Let's keep going. Um, and where it says website down there. I know I had put this in and yes. it, it's appeared everything. So let me find it again. So I got the HTTPS and all that. Crap. Sure, sure. That's great. Okay. You've gotten to your website. Now you've, you've copied it. Go back to LinkedIn and uh, paste it. Great. Yeah. That's 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 a good way to make sure you're not mistyping something. So exactly, this is, this and I always great. forget that little slash at the end. Oh, the slash is actually not. Needed. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for most, of, but it's okay. Keep it there. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. And then let's scroll down, and now let's look at company details, uh, industry. Um, just make your make your best guess. You know, I uh, I think you can change this. There we go. That's easy for you. Mm -hmm. And then company size is going to be you know just. You know, to be honest, what's happening here? Well, I think the people who visit your page will see the company size, but it's also for LinkedIn's advertising purposes because oh. uh, advertisers can advertise to companies with a certain size, et cetera. But company okay. type, uh, go ahead and, you know, it's this, solopreneurs, this is... yeah, proprietorship, I think, or self-employed. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the, the difference two. is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, think, I think for most of us, it's probably sole proprietorship. Self-employed can also mean I don't know. That's a, I, I think either one's fine. Let's go. It's really mostly for, um, for advertisers, but let's go ahead and scroll down. And uh, I'm not gonna, can I wait on this? Cause I don't oh, know. Sure. Sure. You can wait on this, but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It. That's fine. Yeah. You have to make it a certain size, 300 by 300. Right. I, I made it because, you know, you, I think you have a logo company logo. I, I do, yeah, but, but, but it's okay. Yeah, right. There you go. So you have to, you have to, well, but but the logo on LinkedIn company page is has to be a square. So maybe just the, the just the winged horse itself. No, I mean without, just the horse. Yeah, yeah, just just right, right, just the horse. Okay, what itself. I'm asking, the reason I'm asking George is because on my on my regular profile, I have my, I have a picture of me with my horses, but on here I want the logo. Yeah, correct? yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 the okay. logo, right? So anyway, you could put that in later. Um, okay. Scroll down, tagline. Um, this is again something you can change later. Uh, it's not required, but you could, you know, you have 120 characters, so it's not that, yeah, you know, okay. just real, real, real brief. Um, anyway, but I'll let you edit that later. Click on the checkbox. I verify. Blah blah blah. And click create page. It's really as simple as that. That's it. Uh, but let me now show you how to uh, first of all how to get here in the future, right. um, you know, and then secondly how to edit it in the future. So let's go to. Um, uh, let's go 
click on click on um, me on the top right uh, where it says me, yeah, the drop down menu and click on view profile. All right. And then scroll down. Okay, scroll down to your resume where you know you say you work here, you work there. I don't know why the drop down menu never collapsed, but it, let's just keep going. Um, yeah, click click on the me again just to collapse that menu. Okay, great. All right, keep going to your resume and uh, experience. Okay, this is where you can now add in the company, the official company. So click on the. Um, Actually, I'm gonna make this into a separate segment here. So thanks everyone for your patience on this. 